tie. We're now at the third round, which is just like the first one. Chris, questions are now worth three points each and possibly four if you come in early enough. So here we go. The title character saves his friend's campaign for class president by performing an amusing dance to thunderous applause. Bill. Napoleon Dynamite. That's correct. Early enough, four points, and that gets you to 18. In a 1989 Japanese animated movie, he finds himself in a world generated by his dreams, summoned by Professor Genius to be the land's future prince. He was in two animated minutes of a 10-minute 1911 film featuring his creator. Named this cartoon and comic strip character drawn by Windsor McKay that shares his name, Martin. Nemo. That's correct. Little Nemo. And to be right, and you're up to 15. His first movie was the Western spoof A Fistful of Fingers, which led to several directing gigs in British television. Peter Jackson made a cameo as a man in a Father Christmas suit who stabs policeman Nicholas Angel in his film Hot Fuzz. Name this director of Shaun of the Dead. Martin? Right. That's correct. Edward Wright. And you're up to 18. In this movie, a new character named ah Ahsoka Tano rescues the kidnapped Rada and returns him to his father. This uh, work of uh, CGI animation is the setup for a new television series, although it shares its name with a previous non-CGI animated series that appeared on the Cartoon Network. What is this, Bill? The Last Airbender? Uh, no, I'll finish the question. What is this film in the Star Wars saga that comes in the story between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith? Hillary? Clone Wars? That's correct. And you got three points. That gets you to 13. Born and raised in Baltimore, she spent a year at the North Carolina School of the Arts before going to Hollywood, where she played Lena James in the television series A Different World. She played Jane Ann Johnson, the dentist's wife, in Love Rain Over Me. Name this actress married to the actor who rapped under the name The Fresh Prince. Bill? Jada Pinkett? Uh, that's correct. Uh, for three points, that gets you to 21. Born in England to Dutch-Polish parents, he grew up in California and played a corrections officer in the Blues Brothers movie. A proper English memorial service is marred by a blackmailing dwarf and by mistaking designer hallucinogens for Valium in his film, Death at a Funeral. Named this director, best known as the voice and puppeteer of the characters Fozzie Hillary. Frank Oz. That's correct, for three points, and that gets you to 16. The character Guino Rinaldo played by George Raft in the 1932 Scarface, does this incessantly, creating Bill. Flips a coin. That's correct. Got in early enough. That's uh, four points. Gets you up to 25. He played basketball for P.J. Carlissimo at Fordham University and made his film debut in Carbon Copy. He played an ATF agent investigating the explosion of a New Orleans ferry in Deja Vu. Named his premier African-American actor, Bill. Denzel Washington. That's correct. For three points, that gets you to 28. Born on Long Island, he went to Brown University, the Yale School of Music, and the USC Thornton School of Music. Earning an Academy Award nomination for his score for 310 to Yuma, it was a modern interpretation of the Ennio Morricone's Spaghetti Western themes. Named as composer of the scores for Hellboy, Resident Evil, and Scream. No guesses on that? That was Marco Beltrami. It was the first film released under the Dogmay 95 Manifesto, a series of rules established by, the Danish by Danish filmmakers in order to create quality, low-budget films with little or no post-production that would increase costs. The idea for the motion picture was inspired by a caller on a radio show who discussed sexual abuse of himself and his twin, Bill. Breaking the waves? Uh, no, I'll finish the question. Sexual abuse of himself and his twin sister by their hotel owner father. Name this movie directed by Thomas Vinter or Martin. Oh, pass. <laughs> Finish this for Hillary. Uh, Thomas Vinterberg set at a father's 60th birthday just after the suicide of his adult daughter. Happy birthday, Gemini. <laughs> uh, no. It's called uh, Festin in Danish, or The Celebration was the English title. This character appeared to die at Alkali Lake only to return in the next film in an out of control state that required death for real at the hands of Wolverine. She used her telepathic and kinetic powers, Bill. Jean Grey. That's correct. Three points. In animation, this effect is achieved by physically moving the camera, although now computers can redraw the image to achieve it. Sometimes this term is used interchangeably with a tracking shot or dolly shot when the camera is physically moved along the axis of view instead of the proper terminology, which involves a stationary camera, and achieving this effect with a specialized lens. In this four-letter effect of moving in or away from the subject, Bill. Zoom. That's correct. Uh, for three points, and that gets you to 34. Roger Corman originally agreed to finance the film if the characters were changed to African-Americans 
but Jonathan Taplin, the road manager of the band, provided 300000 additional dollars, and the setting was returned to Little Italy. It tells the story of Charlie, a small-time hood, uh, working up the mob hierarchy, hindered by his relationship to his immature friend, Johnny Boy. Name this early Martin Scorsese success, Hillary. Mean Streets. That's correct, for three, that gets you to 19. He sold velvet paintings while studying at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. He voiced the mysterious rebel leader named Zarni Whoop in the second series of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy radio program. Name this Welsh actor who played Mr. Dark, the villain in Something Wicked This Way Comes, Sam Lowry, the protagonist in Brazil, and Jamaican governor, Hillary. Jonathan Price. That's correct, for three, gets you up to 22. Born in Manchester, England, he was a social worker, and he directed two episodes of the comedy, British comedy series Cold Feet. His next theatrical feature, which is still unreleased, entitled Endgame, deals with a secret negotiation in Somerset, England, between African National Congress and National Party members in the closing days of apartheid. Named this director of the Rashomon-like multiple viewpoint thriller Vantage Point. Oh. No? No guesses? That was Pete Travis. It's Grégoire de Fransac's official position with respect to Louis XV of France in Brotherhood of the Wolf. It's Norman Bates's hobby in Psycho, which aided in preserving his mother. Name this art of preserving or bill. Taxidermy. That's correct for three. And that'll end the third round. We move into the latter round next, so stay tuned.